Tries slowing down, he needs to pick it back up and go back to the body and the legs. Mike Kogan with the sock he needs to do. I think Saki needs to do what he started doing towards the end. Get more on the inside. Don't stay on the outside taking the unnecessary punishment. Come on the inside, liver overhand. Liver overhand all day it's been landing. Final instructions from Anil Duba and Core Hemmers in their respective corners here. Extension. Saki comes out kicking, probing with the team kick off the back leg. Keaton's looking for the liver, and he finds it. The organ smasher. Body rip from Saki, but he's got to continue to press when Keaton is backed against the ropes. Good jab there from Keaton, threaded it. Saki tags with an uppercut outside Saki combination. The chance go up once again for Gokan Saki. He switches to southpaw momentarily here, Saki. Now back to Orthodox. Chops the back leg. is back off the ropes. He's the fighting center because uh, this right here is going to help. He's going to make him lose the round. No, Saki's taking over this fight. He really is, but he's just got to get a little closer. I don't understand why he likes to, uh, why, why he stands on his kicking range. Right there. Trade of leg kick. Saki kills the right hand over the top. Make it two in a row. Halfway through the extension round. Keita's going to start to unload his hands a little now. Gita needs to get busy. He's giving his fight away. I mean, at this point, he really needs to get busy because Saki is stealing this fight. I thought he won the third round. I'm definitely having him ahead here. Saki, that little tape kick, then he goes to the carcass once more. 60 seconds remaining. The body shuttle score for Saki. Succulent dropping down to the liver. Overhand right, just whistle past the brow of the Romanian. Saki again, going for the liver, a tip into the lead by overhand right. He's got more combinations than a Sudoku puzzle as Gokan Saki. And they're scoring for him here in this extension round. Catches the round kick on the forearms. Both men are tired. Peter's got to go balls to the wall now for the final 20 seconds. I think Saki got this round. He looked like he outworked him, controlled the pace, controlled where the fight went as far as uh, who would move forward and backwards. He, I think he got this round. Mike? I'd have to, I'd have to agree. I, I think it's a little, a lot closer round than most fans would think. Gita did, you know, quite a bit of damage himself, but I think that the pace of the fight was dictated by Gokan Saki, and that usually impresses the judges. I give this fight to Gokan Saki, but boy, are these, ba are these guys going to be banged up. First judge for Saki. He's done it! Gokan Saki, his corner, are absolutely jubilated. Saki is through to the semi-finals, but the question mark will be just how much punishment did Saki take, especially to his body, from the kicks of Gita, and how will that affect him if he takes on either Overeem or Tyrone Spock? Daniel.